Hey Zalevers, this is Super Zomagar Barbecue, and today we are going to be playing the WWE Supercard Royal Rumble match. Thought about this idea a long, long time ago, and I'm going to explain how this works. We're not going to be playing one Royal Rumble match. No, we're going to be playing not two, three, or four, five Royal Rumble matches to determine effectively the winner of this year's Royal Rumble. Hopefully, Supercard will be able to do that. But also, just for a bit of fun, because Royal Rumble is just around the corner, one of the most anticipated WWE events of the year because of the prestigious Royal Rumble event. And we're going to start off right now with Bray Wyatt jumping in the ring as number one against number two, Seth Rollins, and straight away shock. Bray gets rid of Seth. This is WWE Supercard simulating this, and I'm going to explain how things work throughout this video. But in the first Royal Rumble match, you are going to see WWE Supercard picking from the left-hand side. It does this automatically. So it has an automatic selection. Now, a couple of non-automatic selections. But as you'll see here, certain cards fall down, certain cards come into the ring. TJ Perkins, a dab master, a, a, another shot. Eliminating Bray Wyatt, that's it, it's crazy. And would, would we ever see that? That would be a shocker, I would imagine, if that happened. But TJ Perkins isn't going to last for long because Enzo Amore, the certified G, is going to take him out. Now, WWE Supercard will automatically decide in this first game what cards are selected. Now, there's a couple of non automatically selected cards here, just purely because of my own personal error. But they were no, none of them like winners. They were very, very early on. So just to admit fault there and then. But if you like this, remember to hit the like button. If you can hit that as hard as freaking possible, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more WWE Supercard. You can see Darren Young can jump into the ring now. And oh, wow. It's in, there's just very like 10 entrants into this Royal Rumble match. We've already had like two or three shots already. The Undertaker... Now jumping into the ring, taking care of that, and uh, yeah, he's now gone again uh, because Darren Young uh, eliminating anyone in the Royal Rumble probably very unlikely, and this is the shock factor. But take us in now. This is to explain before you see something really crazy happen. The left-hand side card is usually automatically picked by SuperCard if you just leave Royal Rumble to play itself. But the first one is completely simulated, and you'll see there that Goldberg is gone. So. Only Supercard is saying Ross Taker eliminates Jericho, he's also going to eliminate Goldberg. Now, if that happened on Sunday at the Royal Rumble match, that would just cause controversy as Ty Dillinger eliminates The Undertaker. That's just absolutely insane. Baron Corbin now jumping into the ring, taking care of business, potentially going to get rid of Baron. No, it's not. Ty Dillinger is going to get eliminated, as you now see. Uh, Crazy Heath Slater being eliminated by Baron Corbin as well. Randy Orton eliminated by, eliminated by Baron Corbin. He's going through literally everyone at the moment. As now the game decides to choose Sheamus instead. And it's a speed match. This is going to be... Oh damn, Heath Slater. I don't know how he got back into the ring. But he's taking him out as Dean Ambrose jumps in and takes care of business. As we now see The Miz eliminated by Dean Ambrose. As Seth Rollins comes in and is chucked over the top rope again. Sometimes there's duplicate superstars on the other side, but not from our side. Don't worry about that. There's another... We just got rid of him. Seth Rollins comes back into the ring trying to take out Dean Ambrose. He does manage to this time. Whereas Brock Lesnar now jumps into the ring. And now you're going to see the 10 countdown for the number 30 entrant for the Royal Rumble match. The first Royal Rumble match for this video. Here it comes. It's Big Cass. Now that would... Probably be a massive letdown, and this cast is going to go on a huge push. Maybe there's a few bad guys in the ring, and that means that Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, is the first winner of the WWE Supercard Royal Rumble matches, and that is possibly what could happen on Sunday at the Royal Rumble 2017. It's not too far away to think that because him, Undertaker, Goldberg, uh, Seth Rollins are all seen as favourites. I mean, the only outside favor a lot of people are now thinking of is potentially Y2J for Jericho because he's never won the Royal Rumble match. But we're going to be on to the Royal Rumble match number two. Now, in this set of matches, got um, Big Cass here. Big Cass probably going to take care of business. He said it's gone Brock Lesnar. Uh, yeah, Brock Lesnar versus Big Cass is only going to end in one way. But you see Roman Reigns jump in, take care of not one Brock Lesnar. Could that potentially happen? If he was to lose the WWE Universal Championship match, I see Sheamus get rid of Roman Reigns now. 
Could that potentially happen during the Royal Rumble match if he was to lose his match? Gallows eliminated by Bray Wyatt there. And now we're going to see Jimmy Uso jump into the ring and get rid of Bray Wyatt very quickly again. But Jericho jumps in, takes care of business, makes sure that Jimmy Uso doesn't carry on eliminating people from the Royal Rumble. Big E comes in, takes out Jericho Corbin. Now jumps in the ring, is taken out by Big E again. And unfortunately, Dean Ambrose has jumped in the ring and he starts his push as we get to the number 30 entrant in this the second Royal Rumble match. Here it comes, Shane McMahon is eliminated by Dean Ambrose and Finn Balor comes in, but the returning Finn Balor couldn't stop Dean Ambrose being the number two victor of the WWE Supercard Royal Rumble match. So Dean Ambrose, would he potentially win it for you? Maybe if he's not involved in an Intercontinental Championship match because at this moment, he is the IC champion. Potentially, who could do it? But before Scott, think of it. Roman Reigns could potentially be in a match as well because if Roman Reigns he doesn't win his Universal Championship match, he could potentially be in the Royal Rumble as well. As we move on to Royal Rumble match number three for the Supercard, Heath Slater, Heath on Heath Crumb. Why is there two Heath Slater's in the ring? You know, I thought it was a one-man band, not a two-man band, but hey ho. But he's taken care of very quickly by Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens stays in the ring now. And uh, now, interestingly enough, oh, Kevin Owens takes care of business again. That's two people. And Shane McMahon coming in as a surprise entrant. Potentially, that could potentially happen. You never know, he might want the piece of the gold. There's been rumors for a long, long time that he may be the one that gets rid of Brock Lesnar in his match to for WrestleMania feud for a long time. And you should see many, many multiple people, including Bobby Roode, getting eliminated there. Big E taking care of business. And then you're seeing uh, Gallows get in the ring. One member of the Bullet Club taking care of business. Baron Corbin jumping in there. And this is interesting. Baron Corbin, um, another one of people's wild cards. But unfortunately, Corbin not able to survive Kofi Kingston, who was the next entrant. And then we have Bray Wyatt jumping in the ring against Kofi Kingston. And now we have Goldberg being used number 29 who is number 30 number 30 the third is Finn Balor again just imagine the amazing reaction if despite jobbing out to pretty much everyone before this Wrestlemania Bray Wyatt who recently won the tag team championships potentially might be his year for a push third winner of the WWE Supercard Royal Rumble match is Bray Wyatt the eater of worlds and the new face of fear if that happened I personally would be so pleased because he so deserves it after the amount of effort he's been in. His gimmick is great. Um, well, on to number four. Enzo Amore versus uh, Bobby Roode. Only ends in one result, and that is uh, Bobby Roode. But unfortunately, not able to hold the ring against the Uso boss. Nakamura, again, another debut in this Royal Rumble match. I take out Gallows, taking out Joe. Is this another one? No, Dolph Ziggler. Recently healed Dolph Ziggler while Goldberg jumps into the ring. And you know what's going to happen. Goldberg's just going to clean house. That's just that's two eliminations straight away. He's taken out Enzo as well, you've got to remember. He also takes out Enzo and another... En that's five, six, seven, eight people. Nine people Goldberg has taken out. That could also happen before he's then overcome by Anuso, who then takes out two people before Baron Corbin jumps in the ring. And we are now down to the final three competitors. The number 30 for this year's Royal Rumble, we know for number 29 is Bray Wyatt, is Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe could potentially make his debut and it's been heavily, heavily rumored. Number 30, Samoa Joe, but Baron Corbin takes this one. Oh, that would that would be something else. Uh, again, I, I one of these, I would be very, very happy with Baron Corbin and Bray Wyatt. I wouldn't say no to. Also, I wouldn't say no to Brock Lesnar, but I prefer these guys. These guys are the up-and-comers. These are the guys who should be in the main event. But, my opinion aside, let's move on to the final. W Supercard Royal Rumble as Ty Dillinger and Bobby Roode. Lots of rumors that Ty Dillinger is going to be number 10 in this Royal Rumble. I personally think Bobby Roode should be number 10 as Finn Balor gets rid of Bobby Roode again. So the first couple of entries have already come in. Shane McMahon, again, making his debut very early on in this Royal Rumble. Taking out not just one, but two people. In fact, it's actually three people for John Cena gets the job done. I'm assuming losing his WWE Championship match. And then we have Heath Slater jump in the ring. Taking care of business once more. Big cast jumping in, but unfortunately, Heath Slater. Time for another push, maybe? He's out of the tag team division with Rhino. Is it possibly something that could happen before Roman Reigns gets rid of Slater and stops that push from happening and then gets rid of... Oh, wow, he's, he's, he's going so far. Sheamus is then gone. 
as we see now, TJ Perkins, the dub master, he, he, him getting rid of anyone from the Royal Rumble is pretty astounding. So that's one. That's two. Wow. Okay. So TJ Perkins, that's just what? Okay. So TJ Perkins taking two people out. Yeah. Now seeing another TJ Perkins enter the ring, who's the opponents, but. Again, I said, sometimes it's duplicates, but fingers crossed there's not two TJ Perkins in this Royal Rumble. Much as I like the guy, he's, uh, yeah, I'd rather see two rich swans, if you don't mind. But there we go. Goldberg now going to enter the ring, one of the favorites for this Royal Rumble as we come to the end. Can he win it? That's the question. Can he win one of these Royal Rumble matches? Because he may be the person who goes to WrestleMania to challenge the Raw or SmackDown champion, the world or the universal champion. As now, WWE Supercard is now going to choose its next person, which will be Taker. So it's Senator Goldberg this time. Reverse of the first Royal Rumble he is going to be eliminated by Goldberg, as then Goldberg then takes care of business. Number 30 for the final WWE Supercard Royal Rumble. Are we going to see a shock? Goldberg should clean house, surely. At this point, will we see? Oh, it's Finn Balor. Maybe, potentially, could be a win. Shock return from the injured Balor, and he gets rid of Goldberg. Uh, I wouldn't have called that in a million years, but no. Finn Balor wins the fifth WWE Supercard Royal Rumble. Absolutely mental. I, I, I would. WWE booking just, just says that's never going to happen. But that's it from the WWE Supercard Royal Rumble matches. Let me know what you think about the winners in the comment section below. And if you like this, remember to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you can. Don't forget to subscribe using the link that's going to pop up just down here in a moment. And also check out the description below for details to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. And one last thing, and that is to... Salif!